Hello Grade 7s. Today we're learning about personal income and expenses. Let's look at personal income first and look at the different types of personal income. Now remember that income is money that you've earned. People earn money from their jobs and from money that they've invested in the banks and there are different types of personal income. The first one would be salaries and wages. Now let's uh, remember the difference between these two. And a salary is from for someone who's worked full time. So they work full time and it is for skilled labor. Wages are earned by people who work part time or on a weekly basis and they are either semi or unskilled. Salaries are paid at the end of the month. So they are paid monthly. And wages are paid either daily or weekly. Salaries are constant. It is the same amount of money every month. Whereas wages change depending on how many hours are worked and depending on what kind of work is being done. Salaries could be earned by teachers like me, doctors, lawyers, etc etc and then wages are generally earned by domestic workers gardeners laborers and so on right the next type of personal income is interest on bank accounts now remember that when you save money in certain types of bank accounts you can earn an income called interest. We did look at the different types of interest earning bank accounts last week. The interest that you earn is a percentage of what you invested. So it is based on the amount that you put in the bank originally. For example, they could give you 12% per annum on whatever amount you invested. That means that the amount that you put into the bank will grow by 12% per annum per year. There are different types of bank accounts. There are savings accounts, fixed deposits, 32 day notice accounts. And remember that the amount of money that you put into the savings account and the length of time that you plan to leave it there will depend on how much it grows over time. The third example of personal income is rent from property. Now, property is the term used for buildings or homes or offices or even land. And people buy property to live in. To work in and to rent out. People who rent property are called tenants. So those are the people who move into the property and pay for it. They pay rent to the owner of the property. To earn an income from property, the rent has to be more than the cost of owning a property. So for example, if you buy a house and it costs you 5,000 Rand a month, you will rent it out for more than 5,000 Rand so that you can make a profit from it and earn personal income. The fourth kind of personal income is profit from a business. Now, people who work for themselves are called 
entrepreneurs. They don't work for somebody else. They own their own business. They start their own businesses to make money from their business idea. And in this way, an entrepreneur can earn personal income. It is not a, a salaried position. It is the owner's own business. So it is his personal income. Now let's look at what personal expenses are. Personal expenses are everything that people have to pay for in order to live. So it is everything going out. Personal expenses can also be called living expenses. And different people have different living expenses. But most people would have to pay for things like rent, rent, or their bond on their house. Uh, most people would pay for their cell phones, for food, school fees for their children, water and electricity, petrol and car payments, clothing and least but not last, medical expenses. Those are just a few of the examples of personal expenses. It's very important that people manage their money so that their personal expenses are not more than their personal income. It's also important to try and have money left over each month that can be saved for emergencies and that can earn interest. It is useful for people to draw up a budget each month to ensure that their expenses do not outweigh their income. And hopefully there will be money left over which can be saved in the bank and earn interest. Now grade sevens, I've asked you to compare Complete exercises 6.1, 6.2 and 6.3. In the lesson prep, I've told you which questions to do because you are not going to be answering all questions for all activities. For exercise 6.1, you're going to need to go online to investigate the different interest rates of three different banks. You may ask your parents to help you, but please choose three banks and find out what the interest rate would be offered by the three banks on 20,000 Rand that is deposited in a fixed account for 24 months. Exercise 6.2 is asking you um, questions on ways of earning personal income. I only want you to do one and two. And then activity 6.3 is asking you to find out the costs of various items. You can once again ask your parents to help you and you can go online or look at adverts in magazines or newspapers.